In NetSuite, we can enter an inventory adjustment with a specific unit cost so that we can affect the average cost of an item. And at the same time, in the inventory detail, we can assign it to a specific bin and also enter the quantity. To do this, first create a CSV file. We will need the item, the adjustment account, location, adjust quantity by, and the bin number. So the item in the account, location, adjust quantity by, the bin number. And we can also enter a unit cost. So let's say, uh, give this a dollar here. Right now, let's save this as a CSV file. Inventory adjustment, bin, unit cost. Now in the Soligo integrator, let's go to the integrator, create a new import flow, inventory adjustment, bin and unit cost import. Now let's create a mapping and our record type is inventory adjustment. Select sample file, so this one right here. So the item maps to the item, account to the adjustment account, location, we're going to be mapping this to the line item, address quantity by goes here, bin number, we're going to do that in the sub mapping, unit cost, that's for the inventory line item, so that's correct, and we can just remove this, alright, so that looks good, then we're going to add a sub mapping. This one is going to be for the inventory detail. So this is going to be inventory detail. The sample file defaults to original file since this is just a sub mapping. So we can remove the fields that we don't need. Count, remove that, location, just quantity by. We can map this to the quantity. The bin goes to the bin, that's correct. Unit cost, remove that, and we just remove that and save and close. Now we can load our file. Save and run. So one record imported successfully. Let's go to transactions, inventory, adjust inventory, and list. And it's this one right here. So we can see our adjustment here with the unit cost of 1, just like in our CSV file. And the inventory detail has been assigned to 1001 with a quantity of 1.